right. James Cook. James Cook. Dalvin's, uh, Dalvin's younger brother. He is Dalvin Cook's younger brother. Uh, he's looked phenomenal so far in the preseason. Um, drafted by the Bills in the second round in April's draft. Uh, per Andrew Erickson of Fantasy Pros, round two running backs have finished as top 36 running backs more than half of the time since 2013. He's obviously going later than that, and we think that he has some pretty good sleeper potential in what very well could be the best offense in all of football. Um, did anybody? Did you watch that lone drive that the offense had over the weekend? They're they're going through defenses like a knife through butter, especially because they're trying to figure out how to stop the pass. And then they're Josh Allen just like, all right, well, I'll hand it off to my running back and get 10 yards. It's so ridiculous. It's There's like it's almost like it's what the Chiefs want to do and can't do. The Bills can do it. Exactly. A hundred thousand percent. Yes. And it's yeah. It, part of it, I think, has to do with the mobility of the quarterback, Josh Allen versus Mahomes. Um, potentially well it's a better receiving core too now um, I just think that there's a very good shot that James Cook takes over as the running back in potentially the highest scoring offense in the league he's a, a great pass catching running back um, I, I think Devin Singletary has tried to give his job to Zach Moss as much as Zach Moss has tried to give his job to Devin Singletary. And they're both like the two Spider-Man gif pointing at each other. It's like two useless kind of underwhelming running backs pointing at each other. Uh, Devin Singletary and Zach Moss. Yeah. Um, okay. So Jason, what did Devin Singletary finish last year? Uh, probably top 15. Come on, you're 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 just saying that because you you know I'm about to drop a bomb on you like I usually do. No, he's running I'm sure back he twenty did. He's, he's the starting running back in the one of the best offenses. He's extremely underwhelming though. Yeah, but so he was running back twenty last year. Oh, okay. Which which I don't know seems reasonable compared to like just coming into this 20. without doing any preparation. I would have heard Devin Singletary been like, ah, eh, flex worthy thirty running back twenty. Okay. Over the last six weeks, he was running back three. Would not have gotten close to that. Like the last six weeks when he was the starter and the guy, he was running back three. And then he they drafted figures. a running back in the second round because they were so yeah. confident in him. Yeah, they sure did. Uh, double double figures each of the last five games. He had a touchdown in each of the last four, two touchdowns in each of the last two this uh, just makes only, me more excited for <laughs> James Cook. All of this. Yeah, maybe. He he only had two rushing touchdowns through week 13, and then he had five the last four weeks. Oh, my God. They were on fire, though. Well, yeah. I mean, some of it, too, though, is that they were playing in bad weather and changed their offense at least a little bit to involve the running backs a little bit more. This year in the title weeks, they have home against the Dolphins, which isn't the best matchup at Chicago, which we've covered. They're going to score a bajillion points. And then Maybe at the if Bengals. that field's in any decent condition. Yeah, that's true. That field It'll sucks. Just be mud. So I. What was the third matchup? I'm sorry. Uh, at, at Bengals the last week, which uh, is uh, going to be a great primetime game, I would I would think. But. Uh, Cincinnati should have okay weather that time of year unless it's sleeting or snowing for some reason, but it's it's for the, far enough south where hopefully it'll be okay. So James Cook is is really the only issue. If James Cook wasn't there, Singletary would be ranked way higher. Fantasy Pros has him at 33, ESPN has him at 26, uh, and we have him very low because Jason doesn't like him at 42. Ooh. Spicy. Uh, we have James Cook ahead of him, though, at running back 38. That, again, is your fault. All of it is your fault. <laughs> but So, like, they, they both have the upside. They're going, you know, in, in close to similar spots, I believe, in drafts currently. It's, uh, hey, this is a really great offense. We don't really know who's starting. They haven't really announced who's starting. Um, but people believe that it's Singletary's job. So I'll run with that, I guess. 
Okay. You, I mean, you can. Yeah, I think you'll just be wrong at the end of the year come playoff time, especially when it matter, when it matters most. Maybe. <clears throat> I'm not planning on having to rely on a Buffalo Bills running back to win a league this year. No, I mean, the reality is both of these dudes are, you know, going where you don't need them like that, right? These are yeah. bench bench guys. But let's get to and, some... And- and fair and fun bench guys with how low they're going on on a great offense. I would much rather have either of them than Clyde Edwards Alaire. <laughs> Correct. Like uh, yeah. just just because the the upside's there and we don't think it is for Clyde. Right. 